Hi, this is Dan Brunton with the Intel Corporation, and I'm going to be giving you a brief demo of Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. Intel Endpoint Management Assistant, or Intel EMA for short, is a new tool we have to allow you to go through and manage devices remotely over the internet. It specializes in working with Intel vPro devices that have Intel Active Management technology, but also can support software level management. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. I'm going to start with the endpoints list, and here you can see a list of devices that we can manage that are associated with my Intel EMA tenant that I'm working with right now. We give you the ability to manage the users and groups associated with this particular Intel EMA tenant. We give you the ability to go through and organize your computers into various endpoint groups, and those could be some type of logical associations such as finance computers, human resource computers, or it could be, you know, say something done by building or location. The important thing is we give you that ability to group computers together in some type of functional way. This also is where you would go through and configure your Intel AMT profiles for configuring out of band management of devices. And finally, from the settings menu, you can do things such as upload AMT configuration certificates. And these are used in the case of configuring AMT devices in admin control mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it's like to actually manage a device through Intel EMA. Now, in this case, I'm connected to the Intel corporate network behind a proxy server, and I'm connected to an Intel EMA instance that's running in the cloud. Because it's running in the cloud, I can go through and do things such as managing devices and other networks. That's the great thing about it. So we've got a few things to talk about here. Let me draw your attention to the power and connect lights that you see here. So we know that the system I want to manage is powered on and it's connected, and that tells me that our in-band software agent is working. Now, with this last entry, you see Sierra connected, that stands for Client Initiated Remote Access. And that basically tells me that Intel AMT is configured on the system and has established its own secure tunnel, again, from the chipset all at a hardware level back to our Intel EMA server running in the cloud. And that's what lets me manage this device without having to worry about the state of the software. So let's see what that looks like. I'll go to the Intel AMT tab. In this case, I'm gonna to go to the Remote Desktop option and connect it. So now I've got a full graphical remote desktop into this system. And again, we talked about this being all based on uh, hardware. So let me demonstrate how that works. You can see I've already disabled my Bluetooth and my Wi-Fi connections. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Ethernet connection here. And I'm going to disable that connection. If we take a look down here at the bottom of the screen, we can see that Windows is in fact not connected to the network anymore. The system is completely offline as far as software-based management is concerned, but because of the fact that we have Intel AMT on here, we have Intel EMA and Sierra, all three working together, I get this great hardware level management for devices across the internet. I'll go ahead and re-enable this connection so we can continue the demo. All right, we are now reattached to our cable modem in the lab and going again. I'll go ahead and just connect the session in AMT and let's talk about these other tabs you see here at the top of the screen. This is the first of our software-based in-band features. If I connect here, we'll see it's the same kind of remote control interface, except this time we're running in software, so it performs a little faster than the hardware-based management and is great if your operating system is up and running. Uh, the terminal window lets you bring up a terminal to manage the device remotely. And one of my favorite features of that is I can bring up a remote command prompt so this is great for somebody who wants to do some basic troubleshooting remotely without actually stopping the end user from being able to do any work. We also have our Files tab, and this is another feature of our in-band software agent that lets you go through and mount the file system to the remote computer and do things such as copy file back and forth. So useful if you need to upload a driver for somebody to work with. We have our Processes tab that'll show you a list of all the processes running on the system and allow you to launch or terminate processes. And finally, we have our WMI interface, and this allows you to run WMI queries against the box. Now, again, we talked about Intel AMT being hardware level out of band control that you can do across the internet. Uh, the same holds true for things like the desktop and terminal like we've talked about. These all will work through the internet. You don't have to have a VPN connection back into the office for them to work. But again, you know, the desktop tab, terminal, files, processes, and WMI, all are software-based tools. So if there's a problem with the operating system and it's not working, you won't be able to manage the device using these tabs. You'll have to use Intel AMT if you have an Intel vPro device and AMT configured. Well, that concludes our demo. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.